Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. In this sketch, we're going to illustrate the causes and manifestations of hyperthyroidism. Along the way, we'll highlight a couple of nodular thyroid conditions that cause the gland to autonomously pump out hormone. But we've traced the main source of all this illegal thyroid hormone to one location, the secret underground, unsure if pun intended there, headquarters of the criminal organization known only as Grave. See that outrageous red bow tie worn by our agent? That's our recurring symbol for hyperthyroidism. T3, the activated form of thyroid hormone, exerts its effects by entering the cell nucleus, binding to nuclear receptors, and regulating gene expression. This happens in pretty much every cell in the body. So, as you can imagine, in the setting of thyroid hormone excess, the physiologic consequences are numerous. Many of the classic symptoms of hyperthyroidism arise due to stimulated thermogenic mechanisms and increased metabolism. Just check out this ravenous dog here, seconds away from metabolizing its victim. Increased metabolism causes weight loss despite an increased appetite. Hence the lean physique of that Doberman. Gotta keep him hungry for that fresh meat. Thyroid hormone also stimulates thermogenesis, or heat production, leading to heat intolerance and excessive sweating. Patients have soft, warm, flushed skin because of peripheral vasodilation. Both hypo and hyperthyroidism can cause cramping and proximal muscle weakness. In hyperthyroidism, it's referred to as thyrotoxic myopathy and typically does not cause an increase in creatine kinase. In contrast to hypothyroidism, you don't really see much muscle atrophy either. So, yeah, the pathogenesis of myopathy in the setting of hyperthyroidism isn't quite clear. It may be due to increased metabolism and energy usage by the body, protein degradation, or inefficient energy usage by muscle cells. Either way, it usually manifests as proximal muscle weakness such as hip flexors and quadriceps, which would explain why our secret agent is having so much trouble getting up from his hiding spot. Struggling a bit. Eh, he'll get there, don't worry. All right, time to get nervous. Hyperthyroidism goes hand in hand with increased sympathetic nervous system activity, highlighted by the name of the cemetery. Now, the interplay between thyroid hormone and adrenergic action is pretty complex and thyroid hormone exerts many adrenergic-like effects all on its own, without help from the sympathetic nervous system. For example, part of thyroid hormone's action on cardiac myocytes is to regulate calcium cycling and increase heart rate and contractility. Nevertheless, it's pretty clear that many systemic effects of thyroid hormone are synergistic with sympathetic nervous system activity, and thyroid hormone is even known to increase beta-adrenergic receptor expression in various tissues throughout the body. Hence those beta-bugle cherubs decorating the cemetery wall. Think of hyperthyroidism as a state in which the body's response to catecholamines is exaggerated. Sympathetic overactivity is thought to contribute to the classic symptoms of nervousness, irritability, and tremor. Hyperthyroidism can even cause cognitive impairment and confusion, especially in the elderly. Patients might even have a deer in headlights or staring appearance from excessive sympathetic action on the superior tarsal muscles. You might also notice what's called lid lag, in which the sclera is visible above the iris when a patient looks downwards, as if the eyelid was lagging behind. Via direct action of thyroid hormone on cardiac myocytes, as well as enhanced sympathetic activity, patients with hyperthyroidism present with increased heart rate and contractility. In fact, cardiac output can increase by as much as 250%, as depicted by the generous output from that heart-shaped flashlight. Many patients experience tachycardia and palpitations at rest. Systolic hypertension is also common. And take a look at that screen displaying a human heart. That irregular line of static is meant to remind you of the irregularly irregular heartbeat characteristic of atrial fibrillation. Patients with hyperthyroidism are at increased risk for premature beats, supraventricular tachycardia, and atrial arrhythmias. The most common rhythm disturbance is atrial fibrillation, which occurs in up to 20% of patients.